I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. April Jones reveals the things that are most important to her in maintaining a relationship. But I know that I would love to have another little me if God wanted me to. Does that make sense? But the answer is no. <laughs> uh, oh, I, 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 yeah, okay. My favorite song and artist right now, I'm old school. I'm not, I don't really like much of anything now. Um, I mean, there's certain songs that I like, but I don't have favorites. I'm a definitely an old school music person. Um, Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Team old school. What happened with me on Country Way? Um, I went to jail. That's what, I went to jail. They put me in jail. <laughs> I was like, this was fun. Cause everything's all just like monologues and like you, they're just like, yeah, so we, you come in from this and that and, and it's like, I'm supposed to know what to say. I, okay, I can do this. It was fun, I guess. Um, thanks SL Nelson Law. Love you too, thing one twin. I grow I'm, I'm up your name, but you know what I'm saying. Um, what's my views on dating? I think that dating is amazing. I think that people are incredible. And I think that, you know, you got to get, get out there and you can't be afraid and you can't have fear and, you know, spread the love, you know, um, be open. You might get hurt, but that's okay. Pain doesn't last forever. It's temporary. Um, you know, and be very clear, set your boundaries, know what it is that you want and what you desire. And really to me, I feel like the biggest thing is communication and not allowing anyone to make you feel outside of what you feel and what you want for yourself. I do believe that dating is great though. I think it could be amazing. And I think that you can find your perfect match. And I think relationships are as tough as people make them. It is hard, but I think that when people have the willingness to want to make a relationship work, when people have the willingness to want to communicate, when people have the willingness to want to listen to one another and really put forth the effort. Sorry, I said it was paused. Um, when they want to be able to put forth the effort, you have to have two parties with willingness. Then it can work. It can be a beautiful thing, but you can't, it can't just be one sided. And I'm one that's going to call you out period. I'm sorry. Like in the nicest way possible. Like, cause I don't feel like for me, like I don't, for me, I don't require a lot, but there are certain necessities and there are things that I do need that I feel like we kind of, as people, we skip past the things that we need. And I'm not willing to do that. Not at all. I need what I need and I'm willing to compromise and I'm willing to find something that might be, you probably can't completely meet certain things, but my needs are my needs. And I should definitely be able to communicate with my partner about that. And, and, and my partner say, okay, well, this is what I can do for you. Or this is maybe what I can't. And let's compromise. Let's work on it. You know, like it's, it shouldn't be hard. We make it very difficult. We make it very difficult. Um, it don't gotta be hard. <laughs> don't got to be hard. And then like my thing is also like there are real people out here who really want love. I do talk very fast, sorry. There are real people out here who really want love, right? And I think there are people who desire it in a different way than people who think they want it and aren't prepared for it but just feel like they want love or feel like they need love or they're codependent or and it's like We've got to kind of do the self work before we can ask people to kind of fill our cups. So you got to be able to kind of have your cups filled and know what it is that you want, your likes, your dislikes, not needing someone to fulfill you, fulfilling yourself first. And then when you meet someone that just kind of being an added entity, you know, two people that come together 
and that are adding value to one another, that are adding value, you know, not trying to control each other, not trying to manipulate one another, not coming from a place of I, I own you. No, but trusting that. I'm going to allow you to be you, you be you, whether that's friendships with other people and trusting that not like I was how I, I'm just not doing all of that. We too, you know, when you get in relationships, it'd be guys that'd really be like, yeah, but I don't want you. Okay. But I knew people before I knew you. And like, that's not, that's not a me problem. That happens to be a you problem. And so I feel like it's those sorts of things that we've got to kind of really like sort through because you can still have, I'm, I'm a person, I'm a firm believer. My guy can have friendships and stuff, but I want to be a part of those friendships. Right? So it's all the way how you, it's all about how you act certain things and make your person feel comfortable. Cause it ain't hard. Like if you ain't want, if you don't want to introduce me to your like girlfriends and they your friends, there's a problem. <laughs> then I'm concerned. Then now at this point, you made me uncomfortable. But like for me, I have a lot of guy friends. Guess what? The first thing I'm going to do, make my man feel very comfortable. He's going to meet them. He's going to be on the phone, on FaceTime. I'm going to pick up all, for all their, their calls in front of it because there's nothing to hide. But I feel like there'll be people out here who be hiding. And my whole thing is why be in a relationship if you're going to hide anyway? It's so stupid. It's just really not. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I can't. It's like, so it's, it's those dynamics to me that I feel like in certain relationships, that's what makes it difficult. But relationships definitely, definitely could be, they can be easy. They can be easier than we make them. But there are relationships that are hard. And I think sometimes in the beginning, um, it, it can be that way because you have two people coming in that are from different worlds and you know, you're trying to learn this person and their ticks and what makes, you know, what makes them happy, mad. This, so it's all, a, but if you love somebody, that's what you do. Nothing that is, if it's amazing, it's worth fighting for. It's worth working towards. You know, you got to find the right person that you're like, no, I'm willing to go the extra mile because this is worth it. There are some people who ain't worth it. We giving our time and energy to people and folks that ain't worth it. So that's why you guys can probably, some of you guys can come from that place of being like, uh, I'd rather have my, I don't know, because they weren't worth it. So, but when you find somebody that's worth it, you're going to put the work in. You know what I mean? So just, we got to do a better job of picking and choosing. <laughs> we just do. Um, Hi, Eric. Um, but you know, what do I know? I'm just little old me. And you know, you, let me be quiet. I am doing such, can you tell that I'm doing such a, a good job, guys, of like, there are moments, because I do be wanting to just talk, but there are moments where I have to catch myself and be like, shut up. Because um, I just, I'm a very, I'm just like an open book, but I realize that don't get me nowhere. And so I'm really working on that. And there are times where I'm just catching myself. <laughs> I am doing good. I'm doing good. Very proud of myself. Okay. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.